Hey everyone, Chell here with Prismatic Powders. Today we have a Kinetone modded Maxon OD808 guitar effects pedal. And we thought since the inside is modified, then we should crank it up to 11 for the outside as well. Now given the history of this pedal, it's probably considered a little blasphemous to do anything other than green, so we're sticking with green. Specifically, Leprechaun Tears. And Leprechaun Tears is a rich shamrock green that has a rainbow color shifting metallic that will definitely grab some attention under those stage lights or bedroom lights for those who are limited to playing solo shows. Anyway, it's going to have a little more flavor than the original color, so let's get out of this studio and get some work done. Since we had blasted off the old coating and thus the old graphics, we needed to get some laser etching done to replace what we had. So we made a trip down the road to Big Sign Effects, where they have a CO2 laser that can etch the powder without burning it. Big shout out to those guys for being so easy to work with on this project. It's an interesting process. They start off with a template of the pedal to keep things lined up, and then the magic happens. It was really cool to watch the laser etch the powder. It only took a couple of passes and we were down to the aluminum. So I do wanna mention that since this pedal is made of aluminum, we were not worried about rust. But if you were wanting to protect against any type of corrosion, you could laser etch a partially cured base and then add a clear coat after the etch. So here's the before and the aftermath of our labors. Okay, that's it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon to be reminded of our latest videos, tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.